movie may be fictional, but the love for Spider-Man is very much real here today in Brooklyn, where the newest movie takes place. There's a block party happening behind me. There's a special screening earlier at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. The street, the street behind me shut down. There is a DJ. There is face painting to make kids look like Spider-Man. There's a 360 photo booth. Sony Pictures Entertainment, which sponsored all this, says it's a way to give back to the Brooklyn community, which is such an integral part of the new movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales, a.k.a. Spider-Man, is a young boy from Brooklyn showing kids of all backgrounds that they deserve representation on the big screen. He is the first black Spider-Man. He is Afro-Latino. His mother's from Puerto Rico, from the Bronx. His dad is a police officer here in Brooklyn, and he is incredible. It feels pretty good to look like Spider-Man, especially since I'm wearing the face paint. <laughs> it's good to see other characters of African-American descent. Of course, we have Black Panther, we have Miles, and this stuff is important so young men can see this and have somebody to idolize as a young, you know, a young child. So it's very important. This is the first weekend that the movie is in theaters. So far, first reviews, pretty good. Rotten Tomatoes giving it a 95% score. And people I've talked to said you don't need to be a Marvel fan. You don't need to be a kid to enjoy this movie. If you like good storytelling, then this movie is for you.